welcome. Hello. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today, the people of the nation and whom we affect the elders past and present. Welcome to the, my presentation on how to appropriately lift heavy items in the workplace safely following Protocol 12 compliance. Now you all have your hand out. It's a picture. There's a picture in the back of your handout. This shows you how to appropriately lift objects so you can refer to it. Um, it details some information on correct actions and movements. I've also prepared a PowerPoint presentation for this presentation. Some WHS considerations are duty holders who have a role in managing the risk of hazardous handling tasks include persons conducting business or undertaking, designers, manufacturers, importers, suppliers and installers of plants, substance, goods, or structures and other goods. Workers and other, other persons at the workplace also have duty under the WHS, such as the duty to make reasonable care for their own safety health and safety at the workplace. A person can have many more than one duty. More than one person can have the same duty at the same time. Early consultation identification of risk can allow for more options to eliminate or minimize risk and reduce the associated labor cost. Today I'm going to share with you how to lift a heavy item the correct safe way, what is a hazardous, a hazardous manual task, work health and safety requirements on manual handling. The expectation for today is that everyone puts their phones on silent and waits to ask questions at work. Ground rules include that everyone has to come prepared, listen with an open mind, that we start on time and that everyone must participate. That is important to learn, so everyone here must participate in the practical part of this presentation. What are your expectations? Um, that we learn how to lift heavy items without hurting ourselves and that it's in line with health and safety practices. Excellent. The timing for this presentation will be around 15 minutes. Then there will be a break after that. How's that? That sounds great. Excellent. Outcomes of the presentation are that everyone will learn how to lift a heavy object safely, that we will learn about work health and safety or to the obligations and why it's so important to lift objects safely. Let's begin. Okay. Most jobs involve manual tasks such as lifting, pushing, pulling or carrying manual tasks can be hazardous, so you must assess and manage the risk. As a person conducting business or undertaking, PCBU have a duty to keep workers and workplaces safe from the risk of manual manual handling. You must assess, access and manage the risk of manual tasks. Otherwise, workers would develop health conditions called MSD, musculoskeletal disorders. So I've got my presentation. MSD. MSD are an injury or disease of musculoskeletal system. The musculoskeletal system is made up of muscles, bones, joints and connective tissues. MSD may include sprains and strains of muscles, ligaments and tendons, back injuries, joint and back brain injuries or degeneration, nerve injuries or compression, muscular and vascular disorders as a result of hand arm vibration, soft tissue injury injuries such as hernias, chronic pain, acute pain, slowly through gradual wear and tear from repetitive or continuous movement, this that can happen. Some may include strenuous activity or unexpected movements, for example, handling a load that shifts position. So that's muscular disorders. Everyone in the workplace has WHS duties under the model WHS Act. If you have specific duties 
if you are a person conducting business or undertaking a principal contractor, a designer, manufacturer, importer, supplier, and installation of plant substance or structures, an officer, the model. PCU must, PCBU must, so far as reasonably practical, ensure the health and safety of workers and others at your workplace, consult with workers who carry out business or undertaking and who are for are likely to be directly affected by a health and safety matter. Consult, cooperate, and coordinate activities with all other relevant duty holders. Designers, manufacturers, importers, and suppliers of plant and structures also have special duties. They must sure, ensure so as reasonably practical that the products don't pose risk to health and safety. This includes making sure they won't result in MSD risk when used as intended. Some manual tasks can stress the body and lead to MSD. Hazardous manual tasks are tasks that require a person to lift, lower, push, pull, carry, otherwise move, hold, or restrain any person, animal, or thing that involves one or more of the following. Repetitive movements, repetitive or forced, sustained force, sudden, high or sudden force, sustained or altered postures, exposure to vibration. This task could Tasks like restraining live animals or sorting objects on a conveyor belt. Hazards can come from work tasks that might be performed, work design and management, the tools, equipment and objects handled, physical work environment. To prevent MSD, identify hazardous manual tasks, eliminate or minimise the risks associated with them. The first step in the risk management process is to identify hazardous manual So, now we're going to look at how to safely, how do we list things safely. Some general principles for reducing risk associated with manual handling which should be incorporated into the design of the workplace plan equipment are minimise the lifting and lowering force exerted, avoid the bending for bending Avoid the need for bending, twisting, or reaching movements and reduce push, pulling, carrying, and holding. Working posture. You can refer to the picture on the back if you would like more information on working posture. Work, work activities should permit the employee to adopt several different but equally healthy and safe working postures. Apply one posture, should not be any one posture should not be maintained for long periods without the opportunity to change postures to variation of activity or rest. During manual handling, bending or twisting of the spine should be avoided, especially when this is prolonged or repetitive. During manly ha manual handling, if they're frequent or prolonged, above shoulder reach, forward bending of the back, twisting of the back, sideways bending of the back, avoid above shoulder reach, avoid twisting the back, avoid forward bending of the back, avoid bending of the back. That information can be all found in the um, handout picture. So, when lifting, stand your feet width apart, look straight ahead and your back Keep your back straight and bend your knees and grip the box or the heavy object. Get a firm grip and slowly lift up with your legs. This will help you lift up something heavy safely without causing any heavy DS. Now we're going to watch a short video on how to lift objects ourselves and we'll give it a try. Remember to stand your feet shoulder width apart, look straight ahead with your back straight and bend your knees and grip the box. Get a firm grip then slowly lift up with your legs. Remember to bend your knees.
If you're moving, chances are you'll be lifting some heavy boxes. And the last thing you want on moving day is a back injury from lifting them the wrong way. So let's take a look at some techniques you can use to make sure you finish your move injury free. Start by examining the box. Check its shape, condition, and contents. If it's too heavy, you'll need some help. You might want to ask a friend or use a moving dolly. Before you lift the box, clear a path and take note of any stairs or uneven surfaces that could cause you to trip. When you're ready to lift, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Look straight ahead with your back straight and bend your legs to kneel and grip the box. Get a firm grip, then slowly lift up with your legs. Keep your back straight and push your body up and into a standing position. One of the most important things to remember is to let your legs do the work. Don't lift with your back. When you're ready to put the box down, bend your legs and kneel like you did when you lifted it. Keep your back straight and once it's securely on the surface, release your grip and stand up. And now you have successfully lifted a heavy box. Now we're going to do a quick demonstration just on how to lift something heavy. So what we're going to do is grip this lab. We're going to have our feet with shoulder width apart. So we're going to bend, keep our back straight, keep it down, and then lift. <laughs> you guys want to do the first? Please. Yes. Oh yeah, legs. Yeah. That was good. Just let my legs do the work. Demonstration. Yep. Good object. Yes. Look straight. Straight. No, you did well. You guys no. both did really well. Thank you. Good job. That was that an was excellent a good presentation. Good job. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> summary of our presentation, avoid above shoulder reach, avoid twisting the back, avoid forward bending of the back, avoid sideways bending of the back and then lifting. When lifting, stand with your feet, feet shoulder width apart, look straight ahead with your back straight and bend your knees and grip the heavy item. Get a firm grip and slowly lift up with your legs. A hazardous manual task is a Task requiring a person to lift, lower, push, pull, carry, or otherwise move, hold, or restrain any person, animal, or thing involving one or more of the following. Repetitive or sustained force, higher or sudden force, repetitive movement, sustainable, sustained or altered posture, or exposure to vibration. These hazards directly stress the body and can lead to an injury. WHS duties. Everyone in the workplace has WHS duties under the model WHS Act. Your specific duties if you are a person, a person conducting business or undertaking a principal contractor, a designer, manufacturer, importer, supplier, installer, plant, subcontractors, or structures, and officer. The model, yeah. that's all we have time for today. It's time to close the presentation. Thank you for all coming to view it. Please keep the hand out and I hope you have all learned how to effectively lift objects safely within the workplace. Thanks again for listening. I would like to see some feedback from you. How effective was this presentation? Well, um, I found it really effective because I, I didn't know before how to do it. So I learned a lot. I really enjoyed the use of visual aids and the practical component uh, where we had to try and move a heavy object. It was great. Oh. Yeah, me too. Um, I really enjoyed the WHS information. I uh, learned a lot and yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. Um, I also enjoyed how um, you delivered the presentation. <laughs>
Uh, I like the slideshow, it was really informative and had a lot of information. I like the video you used to, to show us how to effectively lift um, items. And yeah, I thought it was really great. That's a good video. Thank you. Do you guys have any feedback on what I could do better next time? Um, yeah, maybe um, a little bit more uh, eye contact. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, project your voice a little better and adjust your tone so it fits the audience. Yeah. And the slides were a little bit too long, so I couldn't read them um, or the things. Awesome. Do you guys have any questions? Um, do you use this technique when you're picking up any heavy objects? Yes. Yes, it can apply to anything. So, does that mean we have a duty of care? Yes, you have a duty of care under the Work Health and Safety Act. All workers have a duty of care for their safety and not adversely affect the safety of the other person. Um, will we get um, muscul musculator disease if we don't perform lifting objects correctly? Maybe. No, we can take home and do it anyway. So. Yes. Uh, where can I find more information on this? Through Safe Work Australia, and you can find the information in the Code of Practice for Hazardous Metal Parts. Oh, excellent. Is that all of your questions? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Thanks again for coming, and I look forward to seeing you lift objects in the workplace if you can. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you.